Now I have this SDL file that is repaired, that is visible. I do want to show you um, a repair um, visual that um, might not be very clear in an earlier video. So what I want to do first, I am just going to cut. So for cutting, I'm going to select on the right side, cut only selected parts, and I'm cutting the repaired one. And I'm going to move the Z up because that's where I'm cutting. You can see in the preview. Um, I'm moving the Y over here. I'm going to move that back to zero. Make sure that it's not also cutting there. So let's see, Z right over here, execute cut. It asks me choose cutting axis. I want to cut in Z. So I'm going to click cut in Z. And now I'm in the plane cut window. So by pressing control, I can just move around and take a look at it a little bit. Okay. So I do want to lower this a little bit. Um, here we go. So I'm going to separate this piece into two. So when you're doing plane cut, the most important thing is only selected parts is checked. And if you don't check triangulate cut, it is going to create two open meshes. I want to show you that. I'm going to click cut. Okay. So I know that it cut because first of all, I can visibly see this line. And also now I have a folder instead of just one file that in the, in the parts tree that I can expand and I can select um, cut one and I can select cut two. Just to show you the, um, uh, how it did without the triangulate cut selected, um, I'm going to move this top piece a little bit higher. So the, the translate parts um, window is opened from the clicking by clicking these move icon in the ribbon. This is a little intimidating, but don't be afraid. So you can actually um, ignore the selected part, the top part. Let's look at the parameters. So I always want to look at by axis. So what I'm moving, I'm moving up. So I want to move in Z. And since I'm moving up, it's going to be a positive um, number. So 10 millimeter, and I'm going to click, click translate. Okay, because this cut, didn't triangulate, now I have two open meshes. And what I want to show you is when there is any open um, areas and you can actually see the inside of a mesh, Netfab visualize it in red. So anywhere you are able to see red, that means that your mesh probably has a problem. To show you further visualization, I'm gonna select the cut one, which is the down below, it turned green. I'm going to click repair and in the status we can actually see now in red is inverted orient orientation is none. I have 15 holes in this little piece and I have one shell. So this yellow highlighted area is actually highlighted holes. And let's see if I want, if I can actually fix this quickly too. I know that I only have hole problem, so I'm going to go to actions and I'm going to do close holes. I'm going to click all. So it's telling me that this might be a little too much for my computer, but I'm going to say, okay. So I can see the progress down below. Okay, here we go. So in the um, preview, it is showing me that it did this, um, um, this top surface to make sure that it's applied and NetFab creates a new um, part for me. I'm gonna click apply repair. And I'm gonna say keep old part. 
Okay, so in my part tree now I have so many parts, so it is really important to keep track of them. And the colors will change depending on how many parts you have, but the visualization is not going to change. I still have if there's any inside mesh that I'm seeing or um, the orientation is wrong, it's going to show in red. But now I have two meshes on top of each other, so at the bottom, the open one, the cut one with a little um, error, let's move that down, I'm going to do minus 10 millimeter, okay, maybe it needs more, let's do one more minus 10, okay, so I have the pink one, when I select, it is actually the repaired one. And when it's repaired, no, many, uh, no matter how many times you're repairing, it is going to add the repair and every action inside of parentheses. So here we go. And if I want to export this part by itself, and I have already selected it, I can go to Part, Export Part as SDL, and I can save it. It's giving me a little optimization error. I can actually change this number here and click optimize. It's done and export.